Usually when I'm gigging, I don't bring all of my instruments. I usually just bring the guitar. So I wanted to test if some of these input effects on the RC600 would really be effects that I could use. I have this supplemental Boss FS6 pedal to add easy access to the two input effects that I'll be demonstrating today. It's custom painted in honor of my friend Bud who gave me this pedal. He's the founder of the nonprofit Navajo Strong. And so we painted it Navajo Strong style. I'm gonna put a big reverb on this switch and that's how we'll record the choir. And on this switch, we're gonna try out the infamous guitar to bass input effect. Sometimes when turning a guitar into a bass, the bass can sound kind of warbly or if it can't find the pitch, it just sounds like, like But we're gonna try it out today and let me know what you think. This is how I'm gonna map out my arrangement. Track one, beatbox, without the big reverb on it. This song is in six eight, it's like and we're gonna let that play as we record on track two, the bass line. In fact, when I start, the bass effect is already gonna be engaged. So all I have to do when I hit record is play. It's an eight bar chord progression that doesn't change the entire song. After I record the bass, it's a little tricky transitioning from turning off the bass and stopping the loop and then prep to start looping the vocal parts on track three. So I'm gonna take my time and let that loop play back. That's a great place for me to add the guitar intro. And then at the end of those eight bars, I'll go over to track three, I'll have my big reverb on and I'll record the choir in the chorus. The full chorus is 16 bars but the majority of the harmonies take place in the first eight bars. So to save time, I'm only gonna make this loop half of the length of the chorus. It'll have three part harmony. The trick is I just have to remember to stop that loop in the middle of the chorus so that I can sing the rest of it without the harmony because they will be wrong. I recorded the choir with the extra reverb effect switched on. And even during the song, I switched on the big reverb as I pleased. Watch how this song comes together. I'll build it and perform it in real time. Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. One and a And I 
much to my patrons how would you loop this song do you have any of your own like tips and tricks because i'd love to hear them down below in the description i have links to all of my gear they are affiliate links that support the channel including links to the fs6 they do not come painted i've also been thinking about using my fs6 for the rc505 the tabletop looper i want to make it more conducive to guitar players so let me know if you'd like to see that ta-ta